What's going on everybody? Today we are going to do the Labyrinth Cave Run. I'm here with Atomic Dookie. And I'm here with, I'm just Emmy. She's going to be the main one who's pretty much going to show you guys the cave run. We are at 51.6 and 77.4 out here in the desert over next to this giant mountainside. And Em is pretty much going to be doing most of the talking and tutorial on it because she's the only one who knows how to do it. And I'm also learning today with it. And we're only going to do, what, the right side or the left side? Um, we're doing right door with the animal sacrifice. Yep. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and get into it. I, I, I used to feel so devastated. So what you're going to want to bring with you, oh hey, there's something from Dragonborn. So basically what you're going to want to bring with you is, as you can see, they got flamethrowers. I'm not cool enough because I don't have one. Um, I brought a shield because M's going to be doing most of the killing. You pretty much need a bow, either a Mastercraft, uh, whatchamacallit, whatever that just was, crossbow. You're going to need some climbing picks. Uh, you're going to need a torch and preferably a shotgun, but I didn't bring pretty much anything that we needed because I'm just going to stand behind him. And Dookie doesn't know what he's doing either. So, all right, Em. Go ahead and okay. take it over for us. Um, Ow. So the first room is a cave room where you have to put in the passcode. The passcode is Grata. Um... And then when you type in the password, this door will open up and a timer will start and it will start to tick and you go through the door. So the password is G. That jump up. Oh. And then A with the little asterisk on top around here. And then T. And then A is up here. Oh, wait. Oh, so it's up there in those little vines? Yeah. There's a box up here with a button in it. And, and then, okay, so we gotta jump down this hole because it's timed. Come on, Dookie. I'm trying. Dookie, what are you doing? Get down. I can't. Jump, Dookie. Where's the hole? Oh. Our first casualty will be Dookie. Hi, Dookie. What? You didn't get down. Do 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 we want to try and get him back in here? Um, I can try. Well, you're not gonna be able to climb up there. Just Dookie, you're gonna have to go um, in. Uh, type the password. Yeah, you're gonna have to type in the password. So, all right. Well, we're gonna try and get Dookie back, and we will be back after that. All right, we're back. Had some technical difficulties there with Dookie. He couldn't find the hole. But he found it finally, so we're good. All right, Em. Yep. Okay, so this for this next room. She's so fast. How are you so fast? With all of the statues and the piles on the ground, you cannot touch at all. Otherwise, the lady at the back will, Dookie, don't walk any floor. Will set you on fire. So you have to lay down and crawl through without touching any. And get to the door in a timeout. Like, Dookie, get back, that door shut. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, wow. What okay. takes fertility? Alright, Em, I lead do. the way. Okay, so follow me. Dookie, lay down. Okay. I will, when I get closer. 
So in this corner, so this this button here, in this corner here, is the one that opens the door over there on the right. Mm -hmm. So it's better to go into third person to see where it is your character is moving, but you want to scooch through the statues and the piles here to get to the door over there without touching any ledges or piles. So if you want to go first, go, go in and see that ledge over there? Do mm -hmm. not touch that. Go in between the pile and the, in the ledge. And then Dookie, you go and I'll press the button and go over. So what are these two buttons Is over he... here? That button there that you're beside right now, Kush, mm -hmm. is the one that opens the left door. Okay. Well, there's three buttons. I can't touch any ledges. Oh, oh yeah. He, um, he, he, touched the, he touched the ledge. Alright, we're here. Freaking ugly lady. Alright, night. the doors are timed, but because there is multiples of us, I was able to open the door for them, and then I was timed. Okay, so once we get out here, that's pretty much it. Yeah. So that's the first room. Oh man. That was close. Okay, so this next room like is what? a jump puzzle. But we have climbing picks, so we are able to jump down to the bottom and run to the end. But originally... Oh. What is that button? It opens the door um, to start the jump puzzle. But we won't be doing the jump puzzle. We'll be coming down to the end. Careful, it's a big fall. I brought parachutes. Yeah. So, the jump puzzle goes all around on the top of... Stuck in a pile. So that's why you bring climbing picks because you don't actually need to do the jumping puzzle if you have climbing picks. Yeah. Yep. Gotcha. Um, there is a drop at the bottom down here. Ooh. Oh, nice. Any kind of tier that it always is? Uh. An apprentice shield, shield and quest saddle. You can take those, Dookie. I don't want the quest saddle. It doesn't really matter what tier you bring, by the way, uh, of climbing picks and have them as primitive. You might want to bring like two or three. Alright, so what is this This door? So this door, we, it will lead into a room. It's... Let's open it up and go through. Don't walk any far forward than when I do. So down there, when you go down, it will trigger... Uh, bats to start attacking you. So what it is we're gonna do is, if you have multiple people, only one person needs to go down and flamethrower all of them and run around in circles. So kite them around and flamethrower them. And then once all of the bats start to die, your teammates run through to the other end. But do not push any of the buttons on the other end. I feel like I can do the bats. I'll do it. Okay. So when they start to die, guys, run through. Okay. Oh god. Jesus. Oh, I missed my shot. Okay, you can come through. Oh, Kush got glitched. So this room has a glitch where you'll get stuck. So you have to log back out and log in. In order to get up. Uh, Kutch, take your armor off, I'll punch you once. Oh, oh you can knock him out, dragon. I don't like the glitch. Hang on, let me take all my stuff off. I got yeah. you. That's happened to me a bunch of times. I don't like it. So, instead of logging in and logging out, somebody can just drag you out of it? Yeah, but yep. if you're alone, then you will need to log out. Okay. Well, thank you for giving me five grenades. You're welcome. <laughs> Alright, well, this is going pretty well so far. Had a little oh, technical shit. difficulty with Dookie in the beginning, and then I got stuck in a glitch, so... This cave is filled with glitches. It's 
Bro, oh, I thought your Jabola was on fire. It's just a torch. Alright, good. Go next, it's this button on this wall, and go through. Don't run forward, guys. Oh. So, so what's... This one, I go, there's a boomerang trap, trap in here. So it's, all I do is I go into first person, and I run down to this wall here, and I hide behind this. And that's it. That's so it? Then you can walk in and get the chaps. That's it, yeah. Well, what is this thing right jump. here? What is this thing floating up here? Ooh. Can I have it? Oh. What was it? You can have it if you want to. I was an ascendant. Ascendant, uh. Alt raffle. Very good. Oh, nice. Thank Wait, you. So, so what is this? I actually have no idea. Alright, well. We'll just leave that as like some undiscovered thing. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take a screenshot. Okay. Oh, that was lag. So, with this one, there's three buttons to open this door in this room. So it's this one here. Mm hmm. Then run over to the other side of the room, and it's this one here. And then down the stairs on this wall back here, it's this one right. And when you're going down the stairs, it's one on the right. Because okay. there's two right next to each other. Yeah. So the next room is a maze room, and we'll go through it very slowly. Okay, Please. so you press the button on the right. Um, I usually just press both. So you, you press both of those? No, oh. I press both, but it's this one behind you. So from directly behind the buttons. And then this button here. Guys? Yeah. He's coming in? Uh I think it's lagging. Yeah, it's lagging. You're standing still. Yeah, I'm in. You were standing still on my screen. I got out. I'll yeah, I'm still. I'm I'm standing in here. Lag city, well. bitch. Alright, well, we have, uh, there we go. Lag. Okay, we're good. Okay, fine. And then. Uh, well, I know what happens whenever you freaking get hit by one of those doors. <clears throat> oh. Oh god. No, that was the one behind you. Then the button on the right. And then the button on the... in the middle. Ooh, there is a dumb weirdo in here. I'm gonna send it to you. Hang on. They're not usually... Are you able to kill it? Can we kill the dung beetle? That's a level 280 dung beetle. Jesus. Oh yeah. Oh, it's then lagging. It's lagging again. Is I love arc. <laughs> yep, still lagging. Yep. Alright, there Can we go. I kill that dumb beetle. Okay. And the button is not here. This is right here. And that will open the button, so and then you've done the maze. So oh, down. okay. And he dropped oh. down, so this one. Oh god. And that's the artifact. Yeah, I just fell yeah, straight down. So this Sweet. is artifact of the clever. So you're best jumping from this side since there is a hole there. Alright. You don't have a glide suit on um cushion. Yeah. No. Wait, I can throw you my glide suit. No, 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 no. If you want. No, don't, don't. If worse comes to worse, I would just yeah. climb and pick over it. I'm not good with jumps, so I have to yeah, have so to like back up and go forward fact. and prepare myself. So do we? Can we wait for this to respawn or? No. So the artifacts in the cave don't respawn. Okay. You need to complete the cave. Gotcha. 
I believe we are lagging again. Yep. So in order, so you can't just wait for him to respawn. You got to wait for the cave to be done, or to reset, and then you can go back in and get it. Yeah. Okay. okay. I mean, this is fun. It's different. I definitely um, won't be able to do the maze by myself. I've done it. I didn't think so either, but I've done it so many times that I've just gotten used to it. So this next room that we're coming up to is the sacrifice room. This is where the animal that you have will come in handy. So on the left, on the right hand side is the human sacrifice room where if you sacrifice one of your teammates, you run through um, that way. Whereas we'll be sacrificing a Jeroboa and we'll run through this side. Hence the statue on where it's placed. Yeah. Is there a difference yeah. in the sides? Yes, well this room um, is basically just walls that Dookie do not jump in there. I'm not. This side is walls that will close in on you and you run through and it's got two drops. Um, and then you you come out to the same room at the end, but basically you just run through and the door the walls close in. Whereas this room has like plates on the ground. Oh, this is the one that you gotta that. run past and um, yeah. bats come out and stuff, got it. So basically we'll run through really quickly, um, trying our best to miss all the plates on the ground. This is why we need torches. Um, and then when we get to the end, I'll activate the drone, we'll run through and kill all the bats that we had following us. Okay. So. It was nice knowing you, Jerboa. Oh. This is gonna take me a sec. <laughs> You're really not good at throwing a Jerboa into a death pit. No, I'm really not. They just don't want to die. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, then. Jeez. Okay, so see these gray plates, guys? Try to avoid them as much as possible. It is okay if you touch them. M with her movement speed. Oh, yep, totally just way. totally just landed on one. Keep running. <laughs> I'll activate the door at the end, you just keep running. Okay. I'll oh. kill them. Just keep running. Vicky, why are you so slow? I'm not slow. Yeah. And then you can kill them out here, but be careful not to kill, to shoot any of the deers and stuff in this room, because that's what activates the, the mini boss. The deer? I am a horrible shot. Yep, so this is why you need to bring a flamethrower or a shotgun, not a long neck. Oh, I, I'm hanging on with the freaking arrows. Okay. So this is the boss room, and the remaining two artifacts are on the other side of this barrier. So originally in this cave you can get four artifacts, but you can only get three per one run. So we did the right side, so we got the clever and then these two artifacts behind here. Oh, sweet. So to trigger, Dookie don't go. Well, you can run through this, to can't you? Yeah, but it's glitched. Yeah, so it's just for future references. It is glitched, you can just run through it and pick up the artifacts. I don't know if leaving the cave will uh, reset the cave or not without killing the boss. So, I don't know. You might want to just okay. kill the boss. In order to trigger the boss fight, you will need to hurt one of the Megaloceros that are in here, but we prefer to... The best place to stand is up on these. Oh, they made it where to... you can't climb up here anymore. 
Can I shoot them when it's time? Oh. So the best place to stand on is on these broken structures. But be careful because they will be they can they'll be coming from the bear will be coming from the direction of the barrier. And the die wolf will be coming from the direction of the waterfall. So they can hit you off and bounce you back. Um, and so you stand further back and jump and shoot them with flame arrows. And once the the bears come in, the or well, the die wolf and the bear comes in waves of. Um, they get up to 250, but they come in two. So you'll have two that are level 50, um, and then you'll get ones that are 100, ones that are 200, and ones that are 250. So basically, you'll have one of each of each level. And once you've killed both of the level 250s, then it will say the spirits have come. So if I shoot this guy, it'll start. Yes, but Dookie, stand back. What do you mean, like? So you're back towards the him. edge. Oh, is that and them over there? Yeah, they're there. Oh, they changed it. Oh. They will one-shot you, Dookie, if they hit you when they get up to 200. Yeah. Originally, the bear used to come from over there. This is new to me. Oh. Missed that shot. Dookie, run around in circles. Yeah, if you get knocked off, you can run around. If, it's kind of glitched right now where the dire bear kills the dire wolf. When they're attacking each other. Yeah, I can't see the dire wolf. Oh, there it is. Oh. So we can't use flamethrowers. It's easier just to use. Okay. We're up to 150 now. Out. Yuki, can you move over to, to your left more? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of XP for that. Yeah, I think they fixed it where the dire wolf doesn't kill. I mean, the dire bear doesn't kill the dire wolf anymore. I can't see the dire wolf. Yeah, it's like right under me. Are we at 200 right now? Yep. So two oh, more. I missed that shot. One more dire bear and one more dire wolf. Is he running away? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Ouch. Oh shit. No, you're good. Okay. Oh, I was lagging. I was a little bit scared for a second there. I thought I was gonna die. <gasps> Juki! Glider suits suck. Keep running, keep running. The die was chasing you. Hi, oh, keep kill. running. Oh, I'm not reloading. Reload. Am you good? They're off you. Fiber is dead. Damn, I'm sorry. Nice. And then see at the top it says the spirits have calmed. So then, 
Usually, if it wasn't glitched, the barrier would come down and we'd then be allowed to get in to get the... To get the artifacts, but we can just walk in and grab them. And harvesting the body um, of the spirits won't give you nothing special, just the regular meat and pelt. Um... To the exit. Sorry, I got distracted by the invisible diver. Oh, yeah, sorry. The exit is over here. At this drain. Okay, so you just follow the water down, pretty much. Yeah, and then we jump. That's basically it. We're now at the exit and we'll come out at a separate cave. Alright. Well, oh man, you guys are taking off. I have 130 movement speed. 190. I don't. Why 190? Wait. I have 100. Stop, stop, stop. Uh oh, okay. Oh, go, go. How much time do we have? Oh, yeah, that's another note that we should make. Um. If you run to that door and your teammates are really far behind, they can get stuck inside the cave. And it's lagging. Yuki, don't go through. It's lagging. You literally just got, like, smashed. Yuki fucked us. So, how do we... how do we get out? Well, if I would've known... The I did say stop. Yeah, the lag in yeah. the game yeah. just messed it up. Is it good? Can it, will it open again? Alright, it's yeah, open. Let's it's go. Open. You have to look back and trigger it. No. Good, you don't have to crawl. It won't let me crouch at this point. So creepy. Oh yeah. All right. Well, I just made that. Okay. So you don't get stuck in We're there. Out. You can just run backwards and well, redo it. You can get stuck because remember, well, you, if you get stuck in the door, you get glitched. So I had to rerun the cave. In oh. Order to get time out of the okay. Door, so if it's so. it's if you get stuck in that, so the door doesn't kill you. No. So now we are at the exit. Which is right. off to oh. the right from the Labyrinth Cave entrance. Okay, so the Labyrinth is over here. Okay, so there's your exit right here. I'll give you a little GPS for it. I am a get a mantis. There, there is the exit, and here is the entrance over here. And that's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you want to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. A like would be much appreciated. And don't forget to leave a comment down below on your thoughts on the video or what you want to see next. Until next time, everybody. Take it easy. I, I, I used to feel so devastated